Hey, good day, Ramon here. Got a quick insight for you, a new Mavericks Intel insight about conquering a big ego, either someone else's or your own. And I think it's important, first of all, to give a bit of context to what ego is, what's the different types of ego, and how do we kind of manage an ego so that we don't have a big ego, but we ultimately have a, a very strong evolutionary developed ego. So ego, basically what it is, it's something, a faculty, a part of ourselves that wants to experience and ultimately wants to experience more and ultimately wants to experience uh, maximum or the infinite value of life. So obviously we can approach this in a very enlightened way or we can approach it in a very self-centered, self-important way. And there are different types of ego that I've realized that one can go through in your life and you can fluctuate these uh, throughout your life but ultimately uh, it's growing in a, in a stronger ego and first of all we can either have a fragile or a weak or a sensitive uh, type of ego that really is not sure about itself doesn't really know what it wants to experience then there can be the what I call the placid or the neutral ego that is neither for nor against anything or knows what it stands for then there's the big ego that often has a over a value of its own importance and significance and often wants to accomplish for itself but very little for anybody else and then ultimately the best kind of ego is a, a really strong enlightened evolve, evolved and expanded ego that really is not touched by much but really knows its own purpose and is not phased by what anyone else is doing so Ultimately, what we want to do is, is strengthen that quality of having a strong ego. And this ultimately comes about when we're able to strike that sweet balance between the ability to accomplish for ourselves as well as serve and give to others. Uh, and it's only through doing both of these things that we really get a fulfilled ego. But without doing both, we can kind of be lopsided. Maybe we accomplish for ourselves and become very self centered and really don't. We find a film and an accomplishment, but not in ourself, because there's some lack, uh, because we haven't really given and served. Now, there's, there's the other side of the equation is where we kind of serve and give a lot, but we don't really accomplish much for ourselves. So we actually, in effect, can't serve and give more. So how to deal with that big ego, which is kind of the awkward one that maybe we become or we encounter in our life. And ultimately, the perspective on that is kind of to... First of all, have some compassion towards that ego that feels its own self-importance is the exclusion of others. And ultimately, that big ego that is like that will have a problem or falter in some way, shape, or form because they're actually violating and serving um, what's good for the whole and they're just about themselves. So you can kind of let go of that and not be so concerned about that big ego because ultimately life will sort that big ego out and showing that no one is actually bigger than the game itself. And in some way you can, and have, again, have that compassion and maybe help them out or maybe even help them protect them and see uh, how that big ego is affecting them. But if they're not open to that, because big egos often aren't open to someone else's opinion, um, just let it work itself out. You know, you'll find that it's much more efficient to uh, work it that way and more just focus on your purpose and how you can give and how you can serve and how you can accomplish and become more of who you are. So that in a nutshell is how to deal with the big ego, either your own or someone else's.